Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing some Genesis 2, and I'm going to show you how to tame a Shadow Mane. First, what you're going to need, well, first, I kind of, I want to look for a Shadow Mane before we get to, uh, what you'll need to tame it. They're pretty advanced. Alright, here we are at the, um, loot drop. We're looking for nets, and, uh, there's the Harpoon Launcher. Because one of the easiest way to tame them is to net them. And then build a box around it. Now, it's pretty difficult because you only have a minute. I'll talk through this. Because you only have like about 30 seconds to build it. And they're in the dark zone. So it's going to be very difficult. But, because there's everything. There's like bugs, a lot of bugs. But if you can trap it right you'll be golden right all right um yeah <laughs> uh um i'm not gonna question this uh this is ps remote play it's not the game by the way oh and there's nets and that's concerning right there all right there are nets and there's so uh hold on I think it worked this time. Um, but uh, there, so th there are nets in there. Um, and an ascendant. Uh, that's not ascendant. Sorry, mastercraft tech pistol. Whatever that is, I don't know what that is. All right, I think this will work. Please tell me it will. All right, is it working this time? All right, it is working this time. Great. Oh, it's still laggy though. <laughs> oh, it just gonna, uh, it's gonna about to, uh. Okay, here's another one. I'm hoping to get. Oh, that's pretty good. Glider suit and ascendant fur gauntlets. Great, that's actually really good. Um, I might take those over to the island. Not gonna, not sure. But yeah, just wanna show. That. Okay, we're over here. Um, being attacked by a strider. Where are you? Stop it, Strider. I'm trying to kill this compi. Alright, we're good. Now I just gotta get out. Strider, please. Okay, is it done? Alright, what level, what level are you, buddy? 25. Well, we're gonna need stone. Uh, this is just gonna be me grinding, but what you'll need to build a trap is eight stone fence foundations eight stone or i would make 20 about i would not 20 but i would recommend making more than eight but if you have a perfectly flat land oh i'm about to die if you have perfectly flat land all you need is eight but if the land is not flat which most likely it won't i recommend making at least at least 15 you don't know, or 15 or 13. But I'm only gonna make eight, hoping the land is flat. Uh, alright. But you'll need eight stone fence foundations. Eight stupid turtles, Diagro, okay. Eight stone fence foundations, eight stone door frames, single door frames, not double door, and then eight stone walls. And. The shadow main will not be able to get out, so... Huh. Alright, alright. First shadow main I've actually ever seen out in the wild. 85, not good enough. We're not gonna tame you. I am sorry. But... They... They, they spawn more at the... Uh... Yeah, this is the only place... They're pretty much everywhere, from what I've heard. But that's literally the first one I've ever seen out in the wild without spawning one in to see what, what one looks like. We will not be doing that for this. They're usually in groups. I don't know what happened to that one. Probably got his group killed or something. Alright, we're here now. Um, we found a 140. Or I think it was a 145. I can't remember the exact level, but it was pretty high, almost max level. But we're here, Welcome and we're- You don't have fungal wood, sadly. She doesn't have fungal wood, which is what's needed for crap. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're back. This is the most important thing. Do not skip this. If 
you want a 100% taming efficiency, you need a fish. You need to capture a fish with fish baskets that is higher or exact size 1.4. There. Okay, here we are. Um, remember, you need size 1.4 fish. If you don't have those, it'll lose levels. Now, I didn't. I couldn't find any higher than 1.3. I found one 1.6. That, that's okay. We're not looking for a perfect team. We're just going to show you how. So, there's the 140. Uh, you need to get it separated. Um, so, we're going to quickly do that. And I'll see you guys in a second. I also forgot to mention that its favorite type of fish are coelacanths. Or at least from what I've tamed in the past. I have not tamed one of these. But I did experiments with like level 20s. Uh, their favorite fish are coelacanths. They get the most taming. Now, this might be false. I'm not sure. But I made sh I captured one of each type. So, piranha, salmon. I said that weird. Salmon and coelacanths. And they got them. Each one was level 20 and the same size. Well, the shadow main was level 20. And the fish were all the same. Oh, God. Okay, okay. The fish were all the same size. Um... And it got most out of coelacanths. So all I've captured were coelacanths. Forgot to mention that. Okay, okay. So we we um, had to go out of render range so it would de on us. But here it is. It's still captured. That's it. So you put the foundations, or the fence foundations. And then the window frame so you can actually go up to it and feed it. And then the walls on top. And you have to remember, you have to go... You have to approach it from its back, otherwise it will wake up. See, this is good. This is okay. Feed fish back to it. Make sure you stay crouched. It will go invisible, but you have to make sure that you're crouched until you're about pretty far away from the... And there's a seeker. And an Arnario. I hear it. Okay. I heard you. Alright, die. Alright. So, the shadow main will go invisible, but it will not be able to teleport out of the trap. Now, as you can see, it's not entirely flat, so I had to use more than eight uh, foundations. You'll notice I have a lot in my inventory. I actually went up and crafted some more. Oh, God. Okay, that was weird lag. And that was the game. <laughs> okay, so, you'll notice it is still... I never tamed Pegos, but sure crap but if you look in there it is still there is it sleep oh it's sleeping it's sleeping you can tell because of the tail if its tail is going up like that it is sleeping it looks like it's standing but it's it's sleeping all right see now it's at 60 percent from two fish each above level i think well one of them was 1.6 and then the other two, the other one was one point. Yeah, the other one was one point, um, <coughs> sorry. The other one was one point uh, three. So I think one point three is okay. But it gained 40% from that. Because it was at 20% before. So that's actually, that's actually really good. So, I will see you guys when it is tamed. Hopefully. Hopefully I have enough fish, because the other two are 1.3s. Okay, so I actually had to go back and get more fish, because, what do you know, it actually escaped. I approached it from the front, and it teleported to me, and escaped. <laughs> Not good. Um, but we tamed it, with one fish left to spare. And so now we can show you the abilities of the Shadow Main. So, when you hold jump and look up, you can do a super jump. And if you hold forward, you do a little backflip, which is cool. And the Shadow Man will not take fall damage when from the super jump. However, it will take fall damage if you just run off a cliff. And it's not like a saber tooth or anything where they take reduced. I didn't mean to throw my spyglass. But they won't take reduced fall damage, I think. 
but they will take fall damage. Not from the super jump, though. Alright, so, back to this. So, if you, if you super jump, they also get the hydration buff, which is really cool. They get the hydration buff, and they're huge. I didn't think they'd be this big. But if you crouch, you can do a cloak. However, you cannot run. Now that brings me to my next point. If you have a female, this one happens to be male. If you have another one, a female, um, you notice I have actually three attacks. Four attacks, but I can only use three. That's because the other one requires a female. Um, and you'll notice that there's a charge bar like right under my hot bar. And it's filling up as I'm attacking. If you fill... See, I did the... Um, if you do alt attack, you look at enemies and you do an alt attack, it will teleport through many of them. I think I teleported... Yeah, the maximum of three, and it stuns them. However, if... I'm missing. I'm terrible at this. Okay. If you fill up this bar right there, you can do a super ta attack. And if you kill whatever you do with the super attack, it will automatically fill up your bar again. See? I just got three of those in a row. And it looks sick when it's like that. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it's basically... And look at this. Look at how cool that looks. That's what it looks like if it's got its super attack up. Um, oh, I think the super attack does like three times the damage, but it looks so cool. Looks like it's ready to pounce. Um, and yeah, so it also was one of the fastest swimmers in the game. I think only second. I think it's actually faster than the Maywing, which is actually really fast. And on top of that, it has natural armor. So I have, have um, yeah, so you don't have to ride a saddle because the saddle is taken up by an armor small, which is natural armor. The higher the level, obviously the more armor. And on top of that, if something hits it, as you can see, there's little twos and fours. If something hits your shadow main, it will take damage. Awesome. And I'm not sure what the purple haze does quite yet. I mean, Genesis Part 2 came out only a week ago. Um, uh, Seeker. I don't want to mess with the Seeker. And, yeah, that's basically all there is to the shadow main. It's really cool. They can jump super high. Um, we'll not take on the Bronto. But just look how far you can go. And, okay, so here's how I can show it. So, oh god, Capro, 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 please. Have mercy. Do, ha have mercy. Have mercy, please. Please have, have mercy. Okay, I'm ready to inst- Oh, yeah, I forgot, there's an update. Okay, so here, look how fast it swims. And I have the hydration buff. But look how fast it's swimming. It's swimming faster than it runs. Like- it's an extremely fast swimmer. Oh, there's a oh, capo dead. Oh god, there's one of those plants. Luckily, the shadow moon is so incredibly good at jump. Oh, bye, seeker. I got a primitive metal pick. I wonder if it's better than another one in the loot drop. Wrong button. All right. So as you can see, our armor. It's actually. That's actually really good. Like, if you had a saddle with that much armor, it's actually really good. Um, <clears throat> okay, our other one is the one that we have in our inventory. It is better. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Uh, I missed. Well, I'll see you guys in a bit when we get back to... We don't have a base anymore because our info got wiped. And so we don't have a marker on our base anymore, but mm, eh, we'll be fine. Okay, so I, I tamed, I started taming a raptor because I realized I have an apprentice raptor saddle in my inventory, so why not? Um, yeah, I got it from the Maywing battle, or not battle, I'm stupid, from the Maywing, um, whatchamacallit, the, the Maywing mission, that one, slide and glide, there we go. And, fuck the average Bronto. Hey, little Bronto. It's fine. Just die, Bronto, man. Die. Oh, was not expecting to kill it with that. Oh. 
I think it'll kill this trike in one hit. 3,000? Jesus. Almost 4,000 damage. Okay, that's quite a They do a lot of damage, these Shadow Means. You have Prime Meat on you from killing the Bronze now. Huh. Alright. See you guys in a second when this Raptor is tamed. Oh. Uh. But it still looks fierce. Yeah, it does look fierce, I guess. But now our raptor is up, so let's just put him in a tripod and get back to our base. Because we don't have a base yet. Ah. <clears throat> so, see you guys in a bit. Also, I know that I tamed the Noglin and the um, Shadowmean, like the first two tames of Genesis Part 2. However, um, the Noglin that we tamed got wiped. Yeah, let's name it Beach Bob. Our tribe Beach Bob. Oh, come on, man. Okay, well, anyways, with the wiping of our character from Soloing Ark, after we beat the Overseer, well, uh, it also wiped everything in the Obelisk Terminals, so I spawned in another one. Don't blame me, please. Um, I spawned it in same level, 145. I'm sorry, it had to be done. But, also, comment down below which Genesis Part 2 creature you want me to tame next. Or show you how to tame next. And, uh, with that out of the way, hold on, we gotta put our saddle on our little, little raptor. We're probably not ever gonna use. Um, with that out of the way, I hope you, hold on. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. See you all later. Bye-bye.